I had to register this here on YouTube, guys. I got a box from Amouage earlier this week, which I did a IGTV first impression for you guys on two fragrances that are on this box. So this is not technically an unboxing because I've already done that on Instagram, but it's really a first impression on their new collection, which is called the Renaissance Collection. If you guys want to know more about, if you want to know exactly what that collection is all about and the four fragrances within that collection, stay tuned. The video's up next. All right, guys, so I have a box here that was sent to me from Amouage. This gorgeous box. I don't know if this is Coco Bowl or what kind of, you know, wood this is, but I think there's like some mother of pearl, you know, inserts in here. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is an Amouage box. It came with this beautiful lettering here that explains the actual fragrances. I did a first impression for you guys on Instagram. If you guys want to check that out, do check it out, which I talk about Rose Incense, which is a new fragrance from the line, as well as Overture Women, which was only exclusive to Herods of London. So if you guys want to know more about these fragrances, go check that out. And also let me know in the comments if you have heard about these fragrances and if you want to see a full review on either one of these, comment and let me know which one you guys want me to you know, do a full review on and I'll come back with a full review for you guys on either one of these two. But today, it's going to be all about the Renaissance collection, which I have samples here. I don't have bottles yet, but I also want you guys to let me know which of these four from the Renaissance collection sounds more interesting to you guys and I'll come back with maybe you know a couple reviews for you guys. So the collection is of four new scents, which is what Amouage likes to say, it's a new take on the oriental genre. These are going to be all oriental slash aromatic fragrances. A lot of them will have this blue and green tinge nuance to them. Um, from what I read, there's an article in Fragranica. You guys can go check it out and read about that in depth, which uh, Renault Salmon goes in detail about each one of these creations. But I'm going to give you guys my first impression on Cabernet. Now, each one of these, again, we have... Um, the first one here that I'll go through here from one by one. This is going to be Enclave, which I'll have, uh, you know, the transition for you guys. The second I'll be talking about will be um, Ashore. And then we'll take a quick look at Meander. And last but not least, we'll take a look at Crimson Rocks, which from the color, it seems like it's going to be the darkest one, the most oriental of the four. So let's dive into these compositions. So I don't know really what to expect with this collection because I think this is like the birth of a new era from Amouage, you know, with... Black Iris, you know, interlude Black Iris, which was really the first dab at new releases from Amouage with the Renault Salmon sitting as a director experience, um, creative director of the brand. This is a full collection, if you will, this Renaissance collection. So I don't know what to expect from the bottles themselves and from the press kits and from the uh, the actual information that I've gotten from this, the, these fragrances. I think they're going to have a blue, green, aquatic, very aromatic tinge to them. Probably retaining a lot of the daring, mysterious, uh, you know, facets that we come to love from Amouage. But enough babbling, let's, you know, grab a test strip here from Amouage and dive into Enclave and see what we get out of this particular creation here. So... By the way, love the little, uh, you know, atomizer, travel atomizer is just, just amazing. Presentation here, everything we come to expect from the wash. So from the get-go, this is going to be very aromatic, a little bit citrus is up top. I, I get a little bit of a spearmint vibe here. There's also some floral undertones, definitely some spiciness going on. Perhaps frankincense, a touch of oud. All the stuff that we come to expect from Amouage. I do enjoy this one a lot from a first spray here standpoint. This is something that I would love to, to, to enjoy myself. I do think it's gender free or shared. I think, you know, a man or a woman can share this. I think this this particular one on Clav is probably a masculine scent, you know, perhaps from the bottle, because we know that the tall, you know, square looking bottles are more of the masculine releases and the shorter, uh, you know, bottles, stockier bottles are the, the feminine uh, releases. This here is supposed to be like a masculine release. I could see that gravitating more towards the masculine side. I also get a creamy facet that's coming to the forefront here, but I definitely think a lady can pull this off. It's not very bold, uh, very dark or earthy, you know, masculine kind of a facet. I think it's borderline. It, it borrows elements from florals. Uh, it's minty, it's fresh, it's creamy, it's extremely aromatic. The three things that I do enjoy about Enclave, there is a vetiver note here that I love. I also have cinnamon and pepper, which makes this very spicy, very, you know, enjoyable for my nose. And there's also a leathery facet to the fragrance. Really enjoying this one right here from a first impression standpoint. I think they did a great job. Let's carry on to the next one, which will be Ashore. All right, let's get into Ashore. Now, again, all these fragrances are supposed to capture the sunlight, the coastal line, you know, uh, the seashore. It's supposed to capture a lot of those 
Uh, very nice and bright, sunny, ethereal, but also uplifting ingredients. Now, Assure, now this is definitely gonna be more feminine for my taste. It's definitely a lot more floral here than, than Enclave. I get a big floral blast up front. It could be jasmine with ylang ylang, perhaps some tuberose. It's a little bit creamy, a little bit spicy, a little bit animalistic, but definitely a very strong facet that is floral. The profile here of the white florals is very up front and center. I can see a very bright and sunny citrus here up top that's also making this very appealing and very bright and uplifting. But the florals here, the white florals, even the bottle is white, is what comes to mind at a first impression standpoint. When I'm smelling this, I'm getting a very uh, pr predominant white floral blast in this particular fragrance. I took a quick gander at the notes and they, they do mention a lot of the stuff I talked about. There's definitely a very predominant jasmine here. They talk about some cardamom. I get the spiciness here, perhaps some pepper. And they also talk about a solar note, whatever that means, a combination of notes to form the solar accord. I get what they're saying. This is very uplifting. It is uh, very bright. Um, Solar, if you will, but definitely more floral, you know, than I would like for my taste. But it is a really nice, um, you know, commending type of a scent. I can see a lady very well mannered, very well dressed, pulling this off beautifully. Let's move into the next one. This is going to be Meander. Now, Meander from the bottle, which is this light green, almost like a sea foam green type of thing. You know, I don't, I don't know if you guys uh, are into music or not, but I love music, and you know, when I think about this bottle, I think about a Fender Stratocaster Seafoam Green, which I'll, I'll pop it up here so you guys can see what I have in mind. So when I saw this bottle, immediately I thought about a Seafoam Green, you know, kind of a, you know, seashore type of a thing. And that's kind of like what I get with this scent. This is very, very enjoyable. It's creamy. It's got a little salty uh, effect into the fragrance, perhaps like a marine vibe. It's not very algae, you know, if you think about seaweeds and stuff, not that at all. It's very, very impressive, very uh, enjoyable but I do get a sea-like vibe, like a marine, very foamy, uh, very transparent, very you know indulging, very captivating, but also marine-like feel that I get with this fragrance. So this fragrance is very interesting. We're looking at the notes and, and you know thinking about the smell here, it's gonna be spicy. You got the pepper going on here, pink pepper. You also have the note of vetiver here, which I love. So I do get that little bit of earthiness and uh, green tinge to the fragrance, which you guys know if there's vetiver, you know, I'm sold. So I do enjoy this one a lot, but it also has a carrot note in here, carrot heart, whatever that means, which gives this scent a creamy and very different facet from anything that I've ever tried. And also there's sandalwood in here, which makes this creamy. There's a hint of sweetness here, but it's not overbearing. It's mostly a spicy green kind of a fragrance. Very unique scent, very nice take here on this particular one, uh, Meander. Really enjoying this one so far. I'll tell you guys, you know, the rank, what do I think about number one, number two, number three, number four, in a few seconds. Let, let's get into Crimson Rocks here, which is the last of the four. And this is probably gonna be the most, you know, oriental darker here, just from the red collar here. So let me give myself a blast here and give you guys my take on Crimson Rocks. Now, Okay, so this one here is definitely the darkest, sweetest. Uh, I don't get much smoke on any of these fragrances. So if you think about smoky fragrances, really dark and deep fragrances from Amouage, they're not gonna be here. This one here, definitely the darkest, definitely the spiciest of all, all four. This is an oriental spicy from what I read. And I get like a tobacco leaf in this fragrance. I don't know if tobacco is a note in this fragrance, but I get a little bit of a honey tobacco leaf kind of a facet, which is like the main player that I my nose picks up in this fragrance. So that tobacco uh, feel that I'm getting here, perhaps from the cinnamon bark, not just cinnamon, but they actually have cinnamon bark in here, which is the thick of it, you know? They also have a rose, honeyed rose accord in the heart of the fragrance, perhaps that rose with the honey and that cinnamon, it's giving me like a tobacco vanilla-ish, uh, you know, or tobacco rouge kind of a vibe that I'm getting here, but it's probably that rose with the honey and that cinnamon bark. You know, obviously it's got cinnamon and honey, it's gonna give me that effect. Very nice, very pleasant. Uh, I think I would wear this before I would wear the, the Assure one, which I think is really more feminine because of the heavy florals. This one here, there's a lot of spices. This is very nice. I love cinnamon in my fragrances. Perhaps a little amber in the dry down. Sweet, sassy, um, you know, oriental at its finest. This is something I would definitely enjoy and probably share it with my wife. So 
Let me give you a quick roundabout here on the ranks, you know, what I think is the best from, from a first impression standpoint. Again, I'm gonna have the transitions here so you guys can see more about these fragrances. I have a link on these fragrances in the description. By the way, this whole collection, the Renaissance collection, goes live here in the US on September 15th. The time you watch in this video is September 14th, so tomorrow this will be available for you to check out. I don't know if they're gonna sell uh, decants like this. I would hope they would, but I'm not sure. But let me give you a quick rank here on these fragrances and I'll have the links on the actual uh, place where you can find these fragrances if you guys are intrigued about them. So I really enjoy Meander. I think this is like my first choice here. I really love the vetiver here, the creaminess. It's a little spicy. This is the kind of stuff I love. I, I can see myself wearing this on a day to day. I can see myself wearing this for the office. It's elegant, it's sophisticated, and it's got the intrigue and mystique that I've come accustomed to with Amouage fragrances. Second to last here, it's, it's a tight race here because I really enjoy Crimson Rocks, but I'll go to the Enclave. I really like the, you know, marine facet that I get here, which is really different than any other slash aquatic aromatic fragrance. It's not an aquatic per se, but you do have this beautiful spearmint up top, which is really uplifting and bright. I love mint in my fragrances and they nail it here. I need to spend more time with these. I actually wear these on my skin to get a full-fledged uh, opinion on them, but definitely my, my second favorite. Third, of course, is gonna be Crimson Rocks. I love the cinnamon bark faceted with the honey. Just smells amazing. I love cinnamon, I love honey. This has both, a little bit animalistic, amazing scent. And last but not least, you guys know I'm not huge on florals. Uh, Ashore is a great executed floral fragrances for those that do love white floral scents with jasmine. Uh, you know, up front and center, the superstar here is going to be that jasmine. You're going to love this. This is going to be a, a little bit of an animalistic jasmine. So beware, you must really enjoy jasmine to appreciate this one. This is, you know, jasmine at its finest, at its raw presence. A good scent, really nice for those, like I said, that loves florals, will love this one. I can see, like I said, a lady wearing this beautifully and really commanding attention. So those are my thoughts on the you know, Renaissance Collection, which again goes live on the 15th, which is tomorrow. I'll have all the information below. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this collection, this new direction, so to speak, from Amouage, and which one sounds most interesting to you. Please let me know a rank down below. Let me know which ones would you like me to do a full review on, and I'll come back with that review for you guys. As always, guys, if you guys enjoy this, don't forget to show me your support. Leave a like. Click the subscriber and if you will, please turn on your notification bell icon so you get videos like these, first impressions, new releases, top videos straight into your feed. As always guys, remember fragrance is emotion, emotion, so wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys again real soon. Take care.